Hey everyone, and thanks for checking out this video, which is the second in my Baron Bootcamp series, where I'm starting 2021 with some fun, some of my favorite technical exercises on the Baron, I'm sharing them with you all uh, to hopefully help you kickstart your new year with some rhythm, with some fun on this awesome instrument, the Baron. I'm Rory, and I'm a percussionist and composer. I've got lots of Baron videos and tutorials over on YouTube. You can check them out if you'd like to at some point. Uh, but right now we're going to dive in with this exercise today on Baron, which is all about accents. So grab your Baron and a beverage and let's get going. An accent in music is just a note that's accentuated or sort of made louder or bigger. So for example, if I play eight strokes on the baron, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight strokes, and I put an accent on the first stroke, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and repeat, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm putting an accent on the first of those eight strokes. So of course, eight strokes fits really nicely into a real pattern. We could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four. Coffee, 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 coffee. So we're gonna start playing around with accents and moving accents around within the bar. So. The accent on beat number one, the first stroke, nice and easy, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Do have you on account this? You could do coffees. Coffee, 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 coffee. And I would encourage you to sort of start to visualize these eight strokes as you're playing it as well and seeing that little accent sign. I'm gonna um, link the little accent sign here so you can uh, see how to notate that in your music if you're jotting these down in a notebook which I would encourage you to do as well. So you can come back to them, practice them uh, without looking at this video or uh, worrying about remembering uh, how the exercise goes. So accent first on the first stroke. Now things are gonna get a little bit more spicy. We're gonna add that accent to the second stroke. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Accent is on the two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you'll notice that that is on an upstroke. This is more difficult, yeah? Upstrokes, always a nightmare for Baron players. We love downstrokes, upstrokes. You've got to fight a little bit harder. Of course, with practice, with time, you learn to love the upstrokes as well. But with the accent, we've got to put a little bit more energy into it. Of course, the reason is because we have this thing. Gravity, when we're playing downstrokes, gravity is on our side. When we're playing upstrokes, we're fighting against gravity, or at least having to push back against gravity. So just be aware of that. And the way that I think about it is almost like a flick. You're almost trying to flick your tipper up in the air, yeah? So that's the kind of idea with that upstroke. It shouldn't feel like, Ugh! you know, too aggressive or too um, forced. Yeah, keep it nice and relaxed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the accent of number two. Also, another little point to make, to make sure that you all are keeping that really nice angle towards the baron. We wanna keep the angle at 45 degrees. We don't wanna be going in too close to the baron. We start to get a scratchy sound. Similarly, when we go out towards 90 degrees, we get a little bit more scratchy sound as well. So keep it in at around 45 degrees and uh, that will keep your sound nice and clear. So we've had accent on beat number one, on number two, I think you kind of probably get where I'm going with this now, accent on number three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And all I'm doing on those accents is making a bigger movement. So if I move my hand away from the baron altogether, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll see that it's the same stroke, it's just a bigger stroke, more movement. So, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Uh, another upstroke. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll go to five. 
five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, on to the seven, five, six, seven, eight, on to eight, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what we've done is we've passed the accent down the line. Yeah, it sounds a bit funny, doesn't it? Passing the accent down the line. We've passed it from one to two to three to four to five to six to seven to eight. And this is a really good way to sort of start to build fluency using accents. Once you can drop them in on any of those numbers fluently, then in a piece of music, you can add a push or a little bit of an extra emphasis within the music wherever you feel it. So of course, like all of these technical exercises, we're using the metronome, we're working with the metronome to uh, keep ourselves in time, to keep ourselves kind of really on the beat and in time, yeah? So 80 BPM, we're gonna start, and we're gonna do four on each one. So we'll start by doing four rounds of the accent being on number one, four rounds accent on two, four rounds accent on three, and so on. So I'll do the whole thing all the way through. You can do it with me if you're practicing in situ at home. Uh, we'll do it together, okay? So four counts in. One, two, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Two more. Six, seven, eight, one. And we're gonna go straight to two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, straight to three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, two more, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, straight to four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, four, five, straight to five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. Will it ever end? Three, four, five, six, seven, A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. Two more sevens. Five, six, seven, A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, big push on that eight, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh, we made it. Good job, team. So. This is what to practice. Start 80 BPM, a couple of rounds of that. Looking for accuracy, making sure we do four of each number. So four accent on one, four accent on two, all the way down the line. Evenness, clarity. Evenness also between the accents that fall on the downstroke and the upstroke. With the upstroke, we are fighting gravity, yeah? So we need to put a little bit more extra kind of lift into those without sort of being too uppercut, yeah? So. As always with these exercises, start out slow, 80 BPM or even slower if that's what you need to get it going really fluently, really consistently, and then start to push the speed, push yourself, challenge yourself with faster tempi on the metronome. So just to demonstrate, I'm gonna take 130 BPM, how you can practice this exercise nice and quickly once you start to get comfortable with it at the slower speeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Third round, fourth round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. So 
have fun with that exercise everybody as always i've got loads of other videos on my channel you can check those out documentaries bear on tutorials musicianship tutorials make sure to ask any questions in the comments down below uh, so that i can help you out as we uh, stagger through this january filled with awesome rhythms on the Baron. So until next time, everyone, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.